doesn't look like it, but we're actually in a psychiatric hospital in the south of France. This avatar, along with 40 others, is being clinically tested here by these scientists to see if and how virtual reality can be used to improve rehabilitation techniques of patients suffering from social pathologies. Eddie Hafus was 23 when his life changed forever. A former restaurant worker, Mehdi had to stop working because of his medication's powerful side effects. Now, four years after his diagnosis, he struggles to have a normal life. Before being diagnosed, I thought schizophrenia was having a split personality, but then I found out that each patient gets different symptoms. Some hear voices in their head, some have hallucinations, others like me are paranoid. I was very scared when diagnosed. Why? Because I knew that my life was going to change for the long term. I understood I was not going to be able to do what everybody else can do. Medhi is one of 40 patients volunteering here for a European research project aimed at providing innovative therapies to sufferers of social pathologies like schizophrenia. And the main rehabilitation tools are computer-based avatars of the patients. We create avatars that are very similar to the patients, but we also play with the similarity of the movements and behaviours. That's why we put sensors on the patients to capture their movements. This way we extract individual motion signatures from each patient that will then be implemented into their own avatars. The research is based on the theory of similarity. Neuroscience suggests it's easier to socially interact with somebody who looks like we do. If an avatar looks like me, if it makes the same movements that I do and at the same time, I'll much better retain what the avatar's telling me, so therapy will eventually become more efficient. All right. Body scanner technologies, motion tracking systems and complex mathematical models were combined to develop avatars that were relevant and realistic. The methodology and the algorithms are, are very, very general and they can be uh, used to look at similarities and dissimilarities in the, in the, in the patterns of, of movements. They can be applied to groups or to individuals as well. Um, they can be applied to healthy and uh, pathological conditions. So. They are really, that is the beauty of mathematics. Researchers say the way forward is to develop a technology that is more reliable, efficient, adaptable and also more affordable, something that can be easily used by patients at home. This small architecture can nowadays be downloaded from our website and then it can be implemented on very different platforms, for instance with the small camera in your smartphone or on your computer or on your home cinema without having to necessarily go to a hospital. Our patients don't have much money, so a big challenge for us is to develop a platform that can be used by everyone free of charge or that can be reimbursed by social security systems. We need to ensure that we don't create further issues for patients who already suffer many challenges. 